today i will make you realize when do we use past participle form of the verb regarding relate form of the verbs so i am uh, going to discuss before you step by step the rules regarding relate form of the verbs you can copy from the board and uh, you can if you practice these rules uh, i think you must improve you must uh, develop in the field of relate form of the verbs when do we use uh, past participle form of the main verbs so rule number 1 after have has had having been be etc if you find at uh, before the gap we have to use past participle form of the main verb in the gap so after have has had having been be you have to you have to use past participle past participle form of the verbs for example i can make you realize for example for example he has do the work in the gap we are finding do do is the verb and before gap we are finding here uh, has and in the rule we also find has have has had having been be etc if you find it before the gap you have to use past participle form of the main verb in the gap after have has had having been be so we are getting in the gap do uh, the past participle form of, of do is done do did done the past participle form of do is done do did done done is the past participle form of do now i will make it, make you realize rule number 2 if the subject if the subject is inactive in the sentence we have to use be verb and then past participle of the main verbs past participle form of the main verb in the gap so this rule is if you find out at first or before the gap subject and subject is inactive must you have to use passive uh, passive rule passive mode so after the subject you can use here be verb am is or was or the dash be verbs indicate uh, present tense uh, am is or indicates uh, indicate present tense and was or indicate past tense so according to subject verb agreement you can use am is or was or any type of be verb and then past participle form of the main verb in the gap if you find this subject is inactive in the sentence so you uh, for example i can make you realize for example for example um english is speak all over the world english speak all over the world i can give you another example suppose this is the book 
this book this book is subject here and after this subject we are getting read read is the verb this book the book read this sentence is not accurate in bengali that's why we can use here book is we can uh, say here book is the inactive subject and after book we can use uh, from b verb am is are book is read and then mobile phone if we use mobile phone uh, as subject in this sentence and after the subject we can use here use mobile phone use mobile phone use this sentence the meaning of this sentence is not correct in bengali that's why we have to use here after the subject mobile phone uh, b verb am is are and then past participle of the main verb used mobile phone is used this is the correct uh, uh, meaningful sentence so you can uh, you uh, i can make you realize this uh, the example english is speak all over the world english can't speak english can't speak english is the inactive subject here so we have to use after the subject b verb from am is are english is and then past participle form of is speak is spoken is spoken is spoken is correct answer so english is spoken all over the world rule number 3 in the sentence if you find a just just now already ever yet recently etc you can find that just now already ever yet recently lately meantime meanwhile such type of word at first of the sentence at last of the sentence or in the middle of the sentence you have to use present perfect tense after the subject we can use have or has and then past participle form of the main verb according to the present perfect tense we must uh, uh, fulfill we must fulfill or uh, we must fill the gap uh, if you find out in the sentence that just now already ever yet recently lately etc so for example father come home just now father father is subject here after the subject we must use uh, according to present perfect tense have or has have or has after the subject we must use here have or has according to subject if you find out third person singular number subject you must use here has if you find out first person or second person or third person plural number we must use here uh, have uh, according to the subject verb agreement we use we use have or has so father after father we can use here has father is third person singular number so we have here yeah, we have used here has and then past participle form of the main verb uh, past uh, past participle form of uh, come is come came come 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 is the past participle form of come come came come so after has we can use here past participle form of the main verb so i have realized some sentences Uh, some rules today regarding re, uh, regarding rewrite form of the verb when do we use past participle form of the main verb if you practice this i think you can catch uh, where do you use past participle form of the main verb thank you very much